Within the last week, yes. HBO announced that it's going to stream all of its content. Right. Some people think that's a mark of a tipping point of some sort. Um, CBS uh, announced that its entire schedule, except for the NFL, is going to be streamed live on the internet. Your own new company, New Form, you just uh, premiered, uh, uh, a do what is it, a dozen? Uh, yeah, like 13 or 14 14, 14 new yeah. short form films uh, that are designed to uh, bridge the, the gap between the internet and- to play and, on a different platform. And yes. to play on a different platform. You're being disruptive. I think, yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, I am in some ways. I mean, other people are doing it, but I think we're, and as far as uh, new form, I think we're kind of early at doing it. But, um, but it's just, ultimately it's just telling stories that get people's attention and that, have, that are sustainable. Now, I talked about uh, music earlier and iTunes and so forth. We've all seen what's happened to the music industry with new technology from vinyl to the CDs to the MP3 to the streaming and who knows what's next. Is something like that now happening to movies and TV? Um, yes, okay. definitely. I mean, well, first of all, Netflix is, has its own business model, and it's uh, worked. It's also been quite disruptive to the analog model at, with the studios. So they're all disrupting one another, but, they're, and, but there's such an enormous appetite just for stories themselves. So stories haven't changed. They might have changed form. You know, they're different sizes and shapes. They might be a minute, they might be 30 seconds. We might do, you know, serialized 20 episodes of three minute pieces. But ultimately, you have to capture people's attention. You have to make it sustainable. You have to root for it. Hopefully now in this, in, in this world, you, you, it's more scalable, it becomes viral. I think we're all looking for more scalability and uh, the digital world has provided that. How does it change the marketing of your product, of your um, stories? It changes the mark. Well, I think that <laughs> all these are really hard questions because they're, they're long answers. <laughs> but it changes it in that you probably have to be more specific in terms of uh, more laser-like in terms of how you're going to market the particular piece of content that you're doing. So you just can't do what they did in 1970 or 1980 or 1990 where it's just a, a package of advertising materials between 30 and 50 million dollars to open a film. You can't really do that any longer. That sort of invention doesn't, that doesn't work any longer. You have to find other methodologies to sort of get people's attention that will go specifically to the demographic. But there's so much information that enables you to do it.